The following program contains language, images, and or subject matter that may be objectionable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The New Media Zone! With your host... This week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the poster pair game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave. Oh, yep. Hello and welcome to the new media zone. And Dave here and Dave with you along with Jim again this week. We've all survived another week, uh, at least on video. <laughs> March 31st. Oh, no. We don't usually, uh, well, we're, what day are we taping this? I forgot again. 15th. Mar or the 5th, March 5th, where? March 15th. <laughs> it's going out like a lamb. <laughs> a little baby lamb. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're sorry. Some of you may have not uh, survived to see. <laughs> This March thirty first show, uh, we we kid about the, the virus, but you have to, don't you? Yeah, like, no, so. life's about laughter, Ed. Right. We have to laugh. I mean, we don't want everyone to suffer, but you know, well, I can think of a few. Well, not every. I mean, some, but not everyone. Yeah. But uh, I don't know where it stands now mm -hmm. with these uh, coronavirus cases. Let's speculate about that. Let's I guess we're 16 days I just want to, like, wipe out the main camera. During the show? <laughs> During the show. God, what a class act. It looked a little orange there. Um, I'd say, <laughs> would you say worldwide now we'd be up, like, at least 10,000 cases from last week? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that would oh, be... Oh, yeah. Did you see the news the other night? Oof. <laughs> no, I try not to anymore. Oh. Yeah. Well, what was it? What happened? I forgot uh, we were going to... Oh! We're looking oh, in the future. I mean, I mean mm. yes, 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 I did. Yes, you did. You did. And, uh, I, yeah, okay, now and, I recall. Oh, yeah. And, yeah uh, we're up what to... pre the president did and then what the oh. Congress did. Forget it. Wow. <laughs> so we're Thank to... God for Alexandria ocasio -Cortez. She did a wonderful <laughs> job uh, with her... Uh, I don't know what Yeah, that. so we're up to 197,000 mm. cases now. I forgot we were going to play the celebrity virus game. We uh, right right now we have Tom uh, Hanks and oh, the wife. And Rita okay. Wilson. Is she considered a celebrity? She's been in movies. She's yeah, I've seen her in some films. Have you guys seen the clip of her when she was on the Brady Bunch as a teenager? Yes, she was oh, doing awesome. the she was, uh, pom poms. This is where and all right, let's do the Marsha Brady cheer from that. One, <laughs> two, tell me who are you? The Bears. Three, four, tell me who's gonna score? The Bears. Five, six, tell me who's <laughs> got the kicks. <laughs> Seven, eight. Tell this is why I couldn't get a date in high school, <laughs> because I was sitting at home watching the Brady Bunch and looking at young Rita Wilson, who we didn't know was Rita Wilson, and then disappearing for a few minutes and then coming back in. And okay. I don't know. I, I didn't. I, uh, so uh, I checked. Uh, Maggie was Gyllenhaal cute. was also on that Elvis movie down in uh, down under. So do you think she has it by this point? Yeah, what is, is I know. It's terrible. She's usually <laughs> nude in films. Would she be oh. nude in the Elvis film and, and have a bigger chance to catch things? She's good. Thank for you very the, much. She's good for the full frontal. Yeah. She does a lot of the full frontal. Jake must be very proud. And also, as we tape this, uh, Heidi Klum looked very ill in bed. Do you think she has it by now? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> so are we assuming that everyone who <laughs> falls ill has mm -hmm. the coronavirus? Uh, she they can't just have a cold. Or the flu. Well, that's what that's part of the game. We're guessing. Does she oh. just have the flu at this point? Let's just say yes mm. to everybody. Yes. Yes. Where is where is she? If she's in Italy, she's done for. Uh, she was in Hollywood. Ah, uh, no, she's done. No. For. Okay. Well, if Tom Hanks has it, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put money on Peter Scolari getting it next. <laughs> <laughs> he has it now. Where is Tom Hanks? He was in Australia. Oh well. Tommy Kangaroo Dan. Right. Right. You think uh, what's his name? The uh, Crocodile Hunter has because he, <laughs> believe it or not, he has he's coming out with a new movie, oh, Crocodile boy. Dundee. Is that what it is? It's, I think it's based on him, him doing uh, the film. Yes, kind of trying to t 
have another Crocodile Dundee film, like a, a, a quasi-reality uh -huh. situation where he plays himself, a version of himself trying to make another Crocodile Dundee Because film. it didn't look like Crocodile Dundee. It looked like an 80-year-old man who should be dodging the virus. It looked to... like an 80-year-old man with bad facelift. Is that what it that's oh. not a knife. Right, right. That's a knife. <laughs> He's got the Kenny Rogers eyes. Now. Oh, yes. no. Yeah. Yep. Well, we have two films scheduled for tonight. Mm -hmm. That you're Rather, not going to go see. You're not going to see them, and we don't know if they've been moved, but we're going to do what we had here. Uh, it may be moved around. Uh, subtitles will be put in as needed. <laughs> this film has been moved, and... and at the air date or whenever. So we do edit a few days before the show airs, so we can correct as needed. But uh, what do we have? Do you have one, Dave? I have The New Mutants. Okay, uh, now that's been moved for a couple years. What, years? Uh, yes, for reshoots and all kinds of things, so. So what you're saying, it's gonna be spectacular when it comes out, right? No. Clearly, it's, uh, I mean, I gotta say it's gonna they've be polished it, they've honed it. Like the rocks at Stonehenge, it's going to be a beautiful monument to movie making. You no, know, in Russia we not have color film till nineteen nineties. <laughs> well, we don't have color at the moment too because we lost the color for some reason on the TV. Oh, so it actually is in color. All right. Yeah. The New Mutant stars Anya Taylor Joy, Maisie Williams, and Charlie Heaton. The story of the New Mutants, a team of mutant heroes comprised of the first graduates from Charles Xavier's school, following an accident. Danielle Moonstar wakes up handcuffed to a hospital bed and is oh. told by her doctor that she survived the accident. Thanks to mutant abilities, mm -hmm. she and the other young mutants learn that they are in a secret facility and begin the fight to escape oh, and no. save themselves. They were caught under all those laundry flakes. Oh, oh that was, look at that. that was snow. Movie snow. Wink, uh -huh. wink. This is a May. What's her name? Maisie from the Game of Thrones. Maisie Williams. Oh, never saw that either. This is what was her name? A Aria. Oh, she, oh no. She's on oxygen, so hmm. she's probably got the CV. Oh no. Do you think the the virus will give anybody superpowers where they can shoot spittle like for <laughs> fifty feet or something? There may be some. Uh... That's the crappiest superpower you could have. <laughs> That's slightly better than the toad, you remember from the X Men, oh. where his tongue came out and it's like and it Meg the from uh, yes. Family Guy, where her superpowers were like growing her nails really long. Uh, okay, so this is oh, what happened? That memory so, card. Memory um, card just rolled. I'm the main. Piece. No, it just, oh, it just flashed and said that. It did. Oh Jesus! <laughs> well, we do have backup camera. How could there's, it be? there's no orange light on that one? Oh, there's you know what? An orange dot in the middle when it was working. You know what? I didn't clear that out. I don't think that. Oh, one, which I can't. I guess we're on backup, aren't we? We're on backup. Oh, oh no, no, stop! Oh, stop! Oh, what oh, oh, the hell? Oh, oh, hell is breaking oh, loose. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, backup camera looks good. Remind me between shows. I gotta empty the load. <laughs> I gotta dump some loads there. Okay. And then we can continue. To this, is, this is the last show we're doing. <laughs> Shall I go with the rabbit? Why not? Because because our load is falling, you can't, you can't bail out now, Dave. We'll clear that out. I can't think of a better time to bail out. <laughs> Hold on a second. We may have to bail out uh, against our will, for all you know. All right. Uh, <laughs> They may shut this Cable oh. 2000 studio I down. See, I can see it now. We're going to be Corona shamed on the, <laughs> the internet for mocking the coronavirus. Oh, no. Which this, we're not really mocking. This is all in jest. Anything you might hear is based on March 10th. Uh, <laughs> anything that went to help me after that, we were not responsible for. If there's actual humans out there spitting or, you know, we, we, I can't predict that. Okay, let's do <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the backup is working because I think we're we're shut down here, right? Because the yeah, red light is off. End. Red light is off, so we got to clear this out of memory. Okay, I did forget to do that one. I did the other ones. This is live on Facebook. On Facebook, you're seeing these problems you have when you're taping a show. Sometimes the camera, the memory card is full and it shuts off. That's why we have backup camera over here, which I did we clear know it out. It says backup on it. 
And it's still recording. Good. And that fine handwritten note take, take to the tripod. <laughs> Uh, yes, well, they have to release uh, Peter Rabbit 2, right? You can't move that. Okay, again. shall I go with that one? Yeah. Well, Peter Rabbit 2 is also known as The Runaway. This one's going to star James Corden as Peter Rabbit, Rose Byrne, and Margot, Margot Robbie? Is it Robbie? Yes. Robbie? Margot Robbie. And uh, in Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway, the lovable rogue is back! B. Thomas and the Rabbits have created a makeshift family, but despite his best efforts, Peter can't seem to shake his mischievous reputation. Apparently, his awful habit of kidnapping teenage rabbits and putting them in the back of a truck. Adventuring out of the garden, Peter finds himself in a world where his mischief is appreciated, but when his family risks everything to come looking for him, Peter must find out what kind of bunny he wants to be. This one's going to be rated PG for some rude humor and action. Now, is James... Is it rude action? Is James... Oh. Oh, I can... hope he does the thing where he sits in the car and he sings with people. Oh, I love that's my favorite thing. Have you seen him do it with Lady Gaga? <laughs> Wonderful. I heard some of that is staged and he's not really trying. Get out. Get out. Um, <laughs> you mean when Paul McCartney walked into that bar in Liverpool and, yes. and the audience went, <laughs> And they were all really? there. Really? That's Paul McCartney and they all just happened to be there at 2 o'clock on a... Now, I'm, I'm wondering, is James Corden the rabbit because he wasn't a good cat? Yeah, good really. Cats. He's on a roll with but his animal parts. Do these, do these rabbits look better than the dog from Call of the Wild? Oh, oh boy, that does. Did that tank? Oof. That did all right for a film with uh, CGI. You know, back before the coronavirus hit and everybody. Yeah, people were still going to movies going anymore. To, as my father would say, they were still going to the theaters. I just had to move that backup camera back a little because I was much too close in that shot. Now much too far away now. Yeah, it is at an angle, but the, what are you going to do? you got your Look at that. Deer is parasailing. Is that parasailing deer? Is, is I'm that, going to see this movie. Is that how it works, Ed? What are you going to do? When it's me in the bad shot, what are you going to do? When it's you in the bad shot, i got to fix it. This is why I'm not doing the show anymore. That's I fixed you. And I can't wait. Um, oh, that's it. Sorry. Yeah, it's going to be in theaters on Easter, huh? Mm. Mm. Do you think Easter will be canceled? So to celebrate Christ's resurrection, go see a movie about a bunny. Right, because it makes sense. They've already canceled. The, they made the church not a requirement, which most people under 50 did that a when few years ago. I was just going to say, when was it ever a requirement? <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been for me since I was like seven years old. When, when wasn't it required for you? Because I think 10th uh, uh, grade I was. You were still going? I know I had to go in 8th grade because I missed when things were rotten for, that, <laughs> for, that, for the confirmation classes. Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't remember. I don't remember when were I you guys altar boys? No. No. No, no. Man. Were you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I got. I, I started out. I was wearing the littlest altar boy little thing, and then uh, eventually, well, I would never grow into growing all the biggest altar boy stuff. But it was, I was like senior altar boy. All right, you bastards! You best square your asses away here. Get ready for mass. You, you haven't had any experiences. No. <laughs> Although one time uh, at the mass, uh, the toilet was running in the. Don't get me started that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to go off in the middle, right when the, the priest sits there after communion, and it's very quiet and everyone's meditating, I had to walk across the altar and go into the room and go whoosh, like when Archie oh, would go upstairs no. and flush the toilet, and then come back out. And, yeah. and there was another time when I, all right, so we're, this we, is, we should do this thing where you would kneel on one side of the altar and the, mm -hmm. and the other altar boy would be on the other side. And... Sometimes you got you try to sneak one out, <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't come out as quietly as you would like. I need to, <laughs> and so I was probably I think I was like thirteen. And is the, frankly, is there anything funnier? No. When you're thirteen, and I look over, and now me and the other older boy. Are <laughs> <laughs> so fast forward, we continue to do this for the next half hour during this mass. The priest never you know, broke character. We. Uh, we come to the point where at the end of the mass we're sitting there next to each other, the two altar boys, and this the kid who's with me finally he's been he's been the whole time and he can't hold it any longer and he just goes <laughs> and, and that was enough for him to stop 
you know, he could then have a perfectly straight right. face. He got it out of his system, and now I'm <laughs> bright red. And yeah, it was one of those moments. Again, another reason why I didn't have a date in high school. But. You know, there's nothing funnier than uh, yes, yeah, even at this age. The one cheek sleeve. Poopy noise. <laughs> all right. Uh, these right. days, I hope that's all it is for me because I can't wipe. Oh no. Maybe by March 31st, Dave, you'll be able to wait <laughs> properly. Yeah. But we can only hope. Because sometimes it's not always gay. Let's see what's coming out on oh, uh, DVD. A I've never saw this. To make Domo happy. Arigato. Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. This is the final season, also the complete series. It's available. I have, seen, have you guys? I never saw the show. I don't even know what it is. Is he an actual robot, or is it just? I uh, think it has something to do with hacking and mm, computer -y mm, things. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Did you see that guy, Rami Malek, in the? Did you ever see the Pacific HBO's thing about the the war in the Pacific? No. Hanks production. He had a pretty prominent role in that. Oh. He also had big teeths oh. in the. Uh, <laughs> Which is why I couldn't watch the movie. <laughs> Were they too big for Bohemian you? Rhapsody. That's all I looked at. That's all I was looking at was the teeth. The current war. Now, this between uh, Tesla and uh, yes, Edison. Edison. Mm -hmm. I thought this looked kind of interesting as we did it, I think, back in February. I got a charge out of it. Uh, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what, is what can it be? <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> Finish it up, Dave. I don't remember anymore. The first in a series of appliance murders. <laughs> <laughs> when we had, we had a, uh, a lamp or something. It was a table was a lamp. lamp. And, and I you, couldn't, you kept and, clicking and it the I wrong way, and it just would click. I think you had cola in your mouth, and you <laughs> let it trickle out the side so it looked like blood was coming out. One of these days, as I'm home with nothing to do, because uh, you can't hibernating out. from the virus, I will look for our old uh, sketches. That looks like you know, that was funny two weeks ago, but now it's March 31st. <laughs> it's not quite so funny. <laughs> oh boy! Mm -hmm. Ooh, Showboat. Is this the 1935 lyrics version? by Oscar Hammerstein and music by Jerome Kern? You can smoke a Lucky Strike cigarette at this film. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke away! It's got a smooth drag. A nice cool release. <laughs> Where the hell are you getting this from? That's a good that's a good so 30s voice. Radio yeah, I know, how do you come up with that? Yeah. Directed by James Quayle. Who brought us back in the thirties, they would pronounce the H's with their W's. <laughs> James Quayle. What a production! <laughs> what a great number. Did you see that number they did? A wonderful tap number. Edna Ferber. <laughs> I she didn't. Was quite, she was quite the dish. Twenty-three skidoo. <laughs> I you see the stems on that dame. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't remember there was a '30s version directed by James Whale. I'm pretty, pretty sure time. this is '30s. Yes. There's many versions of this. There's a. I think there's even a '40s and a '50s one. Um, but if it, the, the, what clued me was James Whale and Irene Dunn, who is mostly a '30s and '40s actress. She's um, not Granny Clampett, right? That was Irene no, that Sophie was Hanley. Irene. Irene Ryan. Yes, uh, Jan. Irene. We're going Dunn. in the showboat. As far as I know, the one movie that I know I've seen that uh, Irene Dunn, I think, was bringing up Baby with Cary Grant or Penny Serenade, one of those two. But I'm pretty sure it was bringing up Baby. I looked at the clip from uh, Old Man River from this version. Old Man River. And the 50s version. Mm -hmm. 50s version was very, you know, technicolor and light, and there was just the guy singing the song. In the James Whale version, they said, lift that bar and uh, bail. He had, you know, scenes of the lifting the bail, and whatever the song said, it was very, you know, in jail. They show a guy in jail, in jail. Cutting edge <laughs> technology. It was. Uh, uh, that James Whale look that uh, we saw in Frankenstein. I didn't know there was uh, this version. I'd like to see it though. See what James Whale did with the musical. I'm sure there's some undertones. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we probably can't show it at mm -hmm. the, uh, you know, Fathom events at uh, Crossgates. Uh, <laughs> we couldn't show this version. 
Um, let's see if there's some more uh, lost uh, films. We an can... unusual amount of time on Showboat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Monster Go Home. Was this in color? No, uh, not right now. What we're looking at, but right. yes, it was in color. Okay. And it was the movie that they did after the second season. They had to change the Maryland. I was going to say that does not look like Pat Priest or who was no. the other? Pat Priest. And yes, the one that who left. was it? Who was the other? The other Maryland. Uh, she was only there for twelve. The first twelve episodes, and she was missing her boyfriend, and she had to leave. The hit, wow. you know. After that, she didn't do another thing, but she yeah. had to leave. For what was the uh, woman in in Hogan's Heroes? Was it Ingrid or whatever? Wasn't there two of them? Helga. Hel <laughs> was Frontline it Helga? Helga? Front Might have been. I don't Colonel know. Clinks. Yeah. Hogan, yeah. get out of. I think there was two of them as well. But I think you're right. This there is were two kinches too. There was, was there two kinches? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 right. Oh. Did they right? Did they call the other? Was it Kinch? Because I'm thinking Kinchlow. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was one was Ivan Dixon, and was the other the was something. One, Washington was, was the second guy. I can't remember his last what, name. Did he play a kinch, or did they give the character a different name? I don't. Know. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not, I don't recall. But this is a uh, monster on Blu-ray plus the uh, TV reunion uh, film is also on here. Wow! Did Fred Gwynn actually show up for that? Because <laughs> I, I kind of disavowed any monster. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Shakespeare? <laughs> of course, we changed Eddie and Marilyn for that uh, version. And then yeah. Grandpa ran for president. Yeah. Hi, man. Yeah. <laughs> is that Slim Whitman sticking out of the? Uh, that, could be. that is Terry something with the gap in his teeth. Oh, okay. Because the monster's got a Terry hit. Jones. Um, Terry. No, oh, Terry Jones is from Monty Python. Yeah. You know the character uh, actor. Yes. Yes. He was in uh, yeah. It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Yeah, I think he showed up on a Gilligan's Island. Uh, all those 60s shows. Terry, we can't remember his name. Yeah. He was there. All right, Terry. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Do we? Oh, hello. Vincent Price. <laughs> I think you can do that. Bad magician. With his wife, the actress, Cora Brown. Now, can you do a 50s voice where we're looking at, I think they were called Gams in the 50s. Oh. What we're looking at here. Mm, gams. <laughs> that's it's all, a, it's that's like the Betty Grable uh, look. Yeah. The pin ups from the 40s from World War II. This, they have you facing back, but turn around seductively over your shoulder so we can see your pointed Percy Fellas. There's my tiny fellas. <laughs> <laughs> you you put your right hand here, you put your left hand there. <laughs> you folks on Facebook will have to imagine the 50s pinup girl we're looking at right now. You'll see that on the... And Ed, you have to imagine there's people watching it on Facebook. <laughs> I know there is, if it's still running over there. Please, uh, so we know you were watching some of this and enjoyed it or not, feel free to write you're not enjoying this. And we'll do it uh, if we're still alive for the next day. <laughs> <laughs> in a month. <laughs> if we're still around. Have you man. sanitized the Cable 2000 Studios? Nobody's been down here in the past month. Okay. Oh, Angel. Avenging oh, I remember Angel. these. Were these TV movies? No, they no. were... No, I remember seeing Angel in... Uh, and, and I think the girl that was the lead in that was also... Do you remember Jaws 2? Yep. Yes. yes. She was in, she yes. Was in that. And I think the bad guy, like the, the murderer that was... Stu was she supposed to be like a teenage prostitute? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the murderer in the movie was uh, the guy from Stripes who was... I don't want to get drafted. That guy. Uh, oh. The dumb guy. Oh, yes. Um, I think that... I don't know the guy's name, but I believe he was a, 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 also a writer for Mad Magazine. Really? I, I, I saw him. So. He was in The Shield the first season. He played the, the colonel or whatever in the... Yeah, oh, we're good that we don't. We keep bringing up people we don't know their names. <laughs> well, we did that know. They, but he was the stripes, and he was the guy that said he joined the army because he didn't want to get drafted. How long ago was Angel Three? Mitzi Capture was doing that show, Silk Stockings, on USA. Yeah, the, that, that the, era. Yeah, was that nineties? Yeah, Russell. yeah. Three different actresses played the uh, Angel. 
course, the most famous. Well, Betsy Russell was in a lot of those 80s. Let me ask you, does that, <laughs> let's look at Angel, the first one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's supposed to be a cute little schoolgirl, right? Mm -hmm. Does that pig, does that pigtail thing do anything for you? <laughs> Never did it. You know, when they, they do that, you know how they have that, the, the schoolgirl look? That, uh, well, it depends how long it's been. It's the, okay. Yeah, that, that pigtail thing just, I mean, look at me. I, I have no right to complain about anything. I'm just like, anyway. That doesn't do anything for you. No, I'm, I'm very long looking. You know, it does do something. When I, was, when I was a young man in high school, so, you know, when the hormones are rushing through your body, uh, I had braces. Uh -huh. Another reason why I didn't have a date in high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, once a month, I would have to drive down to the uh, orthodontist's office to have my braces tighten checked and tightened and all that. And on the way there, we would always pass by Mercy High School. Uh, Mercy. Mercy! A Catholic girls' school. Oh, no. Oh. So I spent my puberty, pubescent years driving past Catholic school girls as they were getting out of school. So. Mm -hmm. Let's just say I have my issues. Yeah. Catholic high schools in tr that, <laughs> high school girls movie. in trouble. Do you that, remember that in the Kentucky Friday the movie? Catholic school girl murders. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play the game. Uh, post prayers game. Send two numbers from one to six. Uh, Meet me on ninety five gmail .com. Pick your numbers. I already picked it out, Dave. Yes. And it's Lawrence Katz, two and five. All right. And he says spin. All right, two and five from Lawrence Meow Katz. Wait a minute, two and five was last week, too, yeah. from David Madison. I think we have yeah, a good match. Memory. That was a whole week ago. I think we have a match! Oh, 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 son of a... We're playing a game for you folks at, on Facebook, if you're still there. They're not there. There's your match. Oh, two and, and there's the uh, three. wonky three there that needs to be fixed. Mm. Uh, it didn't match. Sorry there, Lawrence Katz. Uh, but if you want to enter... Send an email to mediazone95 at gmail.com. That's me, mediazone95 at gmail.com. Two numbers from one to six. We select your entry. We reveal what's behind the entry. If it matches, you win two free movie passes. And if you're right, spin the wheel. We'll spin the wheel. You can win up to six tickets. Sometimes mm. I get through that quickly without stuttering. Other times, yeah, not so much. Okay, we have only 30 seconds or so left. We want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, thank you on Facebook if it's still operating. Now, if you want to see, I'll set it up again for the third uh, show if you're enjoying it. So put that down there if you want to see this. If not, I'll turn it off. I cannot think of another person that would spend their entire <laughs> Sunday afternoon just watching a live broadcast. You can't go anywhere. What else? I, think I go. <laughs> I'm still going out. I'm doing it. Well, Howard Plum said he was still going out, and he wound up interviewing a homeless person. Because no one else is going out. It's me no and Howard going out. That's it. And everyone else that's going to the uh, local grocery stores to get their toilet paper. Now, uh, Fisher. I, Fisher. I was going to go to King Kong today, so if there's an outbreak from the Colony Center, I will know it was that King Kong viewing. Oh, that's right. I knew King Kong went to Hong Kong. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> There was a particular game that he was playing there. Okay, I, I have to shut this up. And I think he took out his... <laughs> no, he did not. He did not. Uh, I thought maybe he did. All right, uh, we'll see you next time. We're going into April. The numbers will be higher. The viewers will be less. Not by choice, they won't be here. And uh, we'll see. We have an elder audience. We have to go. Uh, see you next time. Call me Eileen. <laughs> New Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.